guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have a really fun new Dollar Tree item haul. I am literally at Dollar Tree right now and I have not set foot inside because I am surrounded by items that have yet to make it into the haul and I'm punishing myself. I get to see the Dollar Tree, but I can't get to go into the Dollar Tree until I haul. Like I have to haul the stuff so I'm allowed to bring it home. Some of these items actually are going to be for giveaways and things like that. And I need to take them home and organize them. So I'm not allowed to buy any more because honestly, the bottom line is that I love shopping more than anything else. And that is why the name of this channel is Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. It is not by accident that I named it that if you guys could only see how much stuff I have that I need to haul, you would punish me too. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. So I get to see the Dollar Tree. I don't get to set foot into it. And I have like five that I want to go to today. And it's about to downpour. It's actually really early, but it's so going to pour. So you guys are going to get to see it rain on the Dollar Tree. So I hope it rains wish list items once I finally do this haul and get in there. Um, so let's go into it. Okay, guys. Cool. Um, one of the first items that I want to share with you guys is this cute, adorable, teensy-weensy little book. Well, it's called Tiny Gratitudes, and it's so adorable because what it is, I'll read you this little part here. It's not happiness that makes us grateful. It's gratefulness that makes us happy. Uh, Brother David Steindl Rast. Brooke Roth Shanks, true to size and full color miniature paintings of everyday objects remind us that hope and gratitude are constructed out of tiny moments, not grand gestures. And there's a little more going on there. But what I love about this book is that my my mother-in-law, who is going to be visiting us really soon, she's vaccinated. My father-in-law is vaccinated. We haven't seen them in a very long time. And um, we only got to visit with them once this entire pandemic. And um, we're really excited about it. And she's a cancer survivor. She went through so much during pandemic. I just want to cry. But she always finds like gratitude in the in the smallest little things. And I just know that she's going to love, love this little book. It's so like, it's delightful. It, I don't want to crack its spine, but it has tiny, beautiful little drawings of teeny. And she also loves tiny little miniatures. She's like a tiny lady, actually. She's a small framed woman. So she loves tiny little miniatures of things as well. And each page that has like a tiny little beautifully drawn thing, the first page says, I am grateful for, right? And then as you go into it, it'll be like, see this like little tiny picture, right? And then it says, time to dream, looking forward, collective hope, January 1st, 2.45 PM. Then the next page, January 10th, family heirlooms. My past informing my present, accepting the passage of time. Look at how beautiful. And it's a little teeny tiny grandfather clock. I know that in the basket of yummy things I'm planning on giving her, she's going to love this. Like, love it. So I had huge gratitude that I found that tiny gratitude book because the minute I saw it, I was like, I know where this is going. And it is. And then she's a list maker and a note taker. And she loves paper stuff. So I picked these up forever ago and I've still not to hold them, but they're actually for her. I believe I'm going to keep one for me. There are three different styles. They're still out at the Dollar Tree. They came out for Mother's Day. I just think they're beautiful. I love them. Love, love, love them. And I probably think I'm going to keep this one for me. Well, maybe I'll give her these two because they're very different and keep this one for me. Yeah, that makes sense. That's very my style. And I think those are her style, but she loves paper stuff. So that's for her. That's for me. Maybe I'll use this for one of my giveaways. You guys know that I like to use fancy schmancy post-its for my giveaways because I have to like write them out and count them up. Then I have this table. I think I'm actually going to do this DIY because it will actually bring me crazy joy. I have this little table, this little crap table. Like it's literally falling apart, but I won't let it go because it looks so good. But, um, I'm going to give it a whitewash. It's outside. I'm going to give it a whitewash. And then I'm going to decoupage this, these napkins on it. I just think with the Mod Podge, 
that is waterproof. It'll make it through the whole summer. And I just think it'll be like a little fun thing to add to the side of my lounge tiers outside by the pool. And um, yeah, don't you think those napkins are so cute? And I do plan on doing a haul with my flamingo plastic backdrop that I found in the backyard as soon as it's stuck. You guys see the crap? Oh, you can't see. Let me show you guys how yucky it is. Out. I wish I could. Um, you're going to have to take my word for it. It's like practically pitch darkness outside. And um, meanwhile, it's like early. Actually, it's so crazy that it doesn't look dark in here. Meanwhile, when I the sky is gray right now. Anyhow, that's not important, Marina. I, I sometimes forget like that you guys don't really want to know about that. So, so anyway, I'm sorry. But um, have to focus. You get 18 napkins in this thing. They're so cute. I want to find things to put them on because they have flamingos, pineapples, cockatoos, toucans. I mean, if it's tropical, it's on these napkins. I just think it's so fun to like put your drinks on it or put one of your little platters on it. It's going to be cute, like side, like a side table to barbecuing in the summer. And I want to enjoy my summer. Even if it's the last summer that I have in this house, I bought this house because I love summer and I am going to miss New York. I am going to miss New York. New York is where I grew up. New York is like no other state in the world. I will say that. But I honestly, this weather makes my husband really sick. It's just it doesn't work for us anymore. We need to be in the sunshine and palm trees of Florida, but I am going to miss my home. I love this place where I moved to and it, it's bittersweet in a lot of ways. I have to say, because I do love New York, but I do not love New York weather. Then going right into it. The next item that I found luminous forever luminous facial mask, goat's milk, Mediterranean olive oil. And you get, I think you get three in here. Do I remember seeing that? Yes, you do. You get three. I'm so blind. But what I'm planning on doing, because I didn't find more of this. I only found one and you do have three. I do have in the future. So pay attention, you guys. I do have a face mask giveaway probably coming up after I reach 2000 subscribers. That's going to be my I did reach 2000 subscribers. I'm doing another giveaway because I'm so grateful to you guys. So keep me moving forward, please. Um, but I do, I do have quite a face mask collection because you guys know that whenever I buy face masks, I don't ever buy one. I buy a lot and I usually give them out at the shelter, but I always keep a few and I've been doing it for a whole year. So you guys will get some good face masks. So keep your eyes peeled for that giveaway as well. But since I only found one box of these, I'm going to put, I'm going to break it up and I'm going to put one in that giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled. And this really sounds good. Goat's milk and Mediterranean olive oil, anti-aging and anti-firming. You guys know firming right in the cart. That's firming right in the cart. I love that. I love the word firming. That sells me every time. It doesn't even have, but you know what? A lot of things do firm things. It's not a lie. I don't know how they do it. It's amazing, but I wish it could be permanent. Oh, you know what? I I actually put my toothbrush in this bag, brought it into my car to tell you guys that I am in love with this toothbrush. Do you guys want to know why? Not only is it, it actually works really well. Um, I have very sensitive teeth. It works really well. It doesn't make my gums bleed. But see this little thingy in the back? Those little, yeah, you guys could see them. Well, it's vibrating. Those little thingies are tongue scrapers. Yes. So it has an electric tongue scraper built in for a buck. This is a great, great buy. It actually is designed now where it's water sealed because the other one wasn't. I was always scared I was going to like battery electrocute myself with the other one. And I never used it, but my son liked it. So I was like, be careful. And he would like have this mountain of, you know how guys brush their teeth. Ugh. Like he would have like all this foam coming down and I'd be like, can you please be careful? Why do you insist on using that? He's like, oh, I like it better than the, cause I got him really good toothbrushes and he would break them all. But, um, it's water. It's like sealed with the silicone. So the water's not going to get in here or your saliva or whatever. So I actually think that that's pretty good. I mean, if you were to put it into the water, it would, because this part does not have silicone here, but for the most part, whatever's flowing this way, 
is not going to get in there and this is not going to short out or whatever. I think this is a great, great buy. Now, I have to put this in my pocketbook because it's my actual toothbrush and it's skeeving me out that I brought it into the car, but that's how much I love you guys. I really wanted you to know that that is a great buy. The next item that I found and I got it for my mother-in-law again are these Bath Treasures Bath Bomb Collection. I think it's so cute. Cherry Blossom. Isn't that so cute? The packaging is really cute. It's a cute heart. It's lovely. It's lovely to take a bath in. You could toss it. If it's hot out when they come and visit, I can actually toss this in the hot tub and my father-in-law and my mother-in-law can, I will like dote over them and bring them like snacks in the hot tub and let them have like their quality hot tub time. That would be so cute. Um, I mean, the hot tub is outside, but sometimes I like to like let people have their like quality time in it because it's like weird when we all get in the hot tub, obviously. Our pool's not open yet and it might not be hot, but I'm really excited about their visit. And then um, I did pick up these. I actually might have picked these up a few times and maybe have already showed them to you, but I, I have picked them up a few times and I use them. I don't think they're bad. They're not bad. They're not, there's other Dollar Tree razors that I've bought before that I liked more, but I can't remember which ones they are. But these are not bad. They're really not bad for a buck and you get three. I think, I just feel like I had to do it like more than once. Like I had to shave my leg like twice but that's not, I mean, that's not horrible. The other one, I didn't even have to do a second, like, go over. So, you know, it's up to you what you think is acceptable. But they didn't cut me or hurt me or give me razor burn or anything, you know, total nonsense like that. And for a buck, can't go wrong. Some of the next items that I found are really for men, but I think it could be for anyone. Um, this item here, I think, is spectacular. It is actually really spectacular. And I have to be totally honest because that's how I am. I didn't even find this. Pamela sent me a picture of it when she was buying it. And she was like, girl, you want some of these? And I was like, no, nah, I don't need that. And then I saw her haul it and I was like, am I crazy? That is such a nice item. Sometimes, you know, you got to be in front of it at the Dollar Tree to really appreci appreciate the, the beauty of something. This makeup bag. Oh, it's not a makeup bag. I'm sorry. This men's travel case is, number one, beautiful for Father's Day and a men's case. Because Pamela was like, you want one now after I offered them to you? Well, you're lucky that I did get you one because I didn't listen to you. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, what was wrong with me? She was like, I don't know. Maybe you were in a bad mood that day. I was like, I didn't realize how nice it was. It's so nice. It's like satin. Do you guys see this? It is just, it's waterproof. I don't know what the heck was wrong with me that day when I said no. <laughs> Sometimes I'm crazy. Sometimes I'm like, I'm trying to be good. I don't have to buy everything. But then, hello, it's Father's Day. So thank goodness she got me one. How gorgeous is this? It's like men's camouflage blue. It's gorgeous. And you can pair it up with this, the Barbasol nose trimmer. I mean, I have like a bunch of things for my father for Father's Day, but I'm just going to try to put some of them in here because I just think it's so cute. I mean, I'm even going to put the socks I got him in here. You guys saw those cool men's socks I hold and stuff, but this Barbasol ear and nose trimmer with stainless steel blades, battery powered, battery not included, but let's not get greedy, guys. Seriously, it says requires one AA battery. Big whoop. Like that's another second dollar. Matter of fact, I should pick up. Oh, I bought a ton of batteries. I'm going to put them in here, too because I don't want him to have to go look for them. And you don't even have to use one of those tiny screwdrivers. Don't you hate it when you have to get a tiny screwdriver to open something because of, I know it's for child safety, but I hate that so much because then you have to go find little, and I always buy the little screwdriver and somehow somebody always nabs the one that I need out of that and it's just there, but the little screwdriver is not in there. So when it doesn't need that, I'm so happy. Anyway, I think that this is valued at, $14.99 online. I saw it on Amazon. I don't know if that's like a real price because sometimes people buy things at Dollar Tree and then they sell them on Amazon. But if somebody's willing to pay $14.99 for this, then this is a pretty damn good deal at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, right? So I'm psyched to get it and I'm going to give that to my father-in-law. And if they're watching this haul, they already know what they're getting when they come visit. If they cancel their plans, that means that they don't like the Dollar Tree stuff, but I don't think so. And I'm going to put some socks and some other goodies in here. And my husband is probably going to buy him some scratch-offs.
this. So we'll see what happens. But I just, I'm so grateful to Pamela that she didn't listen to me and she picked me up one of these because she was like, I'm not paying attention to you. I'm going to get you this anyway. You, you don't know what you're talking about. And that that's Pamela. She is hilarious. She was like, I told you you, was, you were going to want that. Good thing I got you one and didn't listen. I just love that Pamela was like, I don't even know why you told me no. I bought you one anyway. And I was like, thank God. The next item that I found, honestly, I am in love with. I have heard a lot of mixed reviews. My buddy Pamela hauled it, and she said that it was a really great product. She um, looked it up online, and it's expensive. Then I saw Linen Things, and she said that she had gotten it in a Target like a beauty box, which I didn't even know was a thing. You could get a beauty box from Target and they send you like all these high end organic products. I didn't even know that that program existed, but she had said that she had gotten trial sizes of these. Now I have to say, I have seen a lot of other people that whole stuff pass on the fragrance. I love the fragrance of both of them. The Jasmine tea one, it actually really smells like Jasmine and tea and mothballs, which is gross, but actually it smells good to me. I don't like mothballs, but there's something like earthy and like not mothbally, but familiar about it. I don't, I don't think I'm using the right words. There's something like, there's something really organic about it. Like it's just really like dirt organic, like earthy. It's so good. I actually love it. I thought I was going to hate it. And I had it in the car and I was like, ah, everybody hated it. I'm going to hate it too. I love it. And then the other scent is cedar wood and juniper. And this one I like even more. Oh, it smells like fresh cut wood. Like it smells like, oh, duh, cedar wood. It really smells like real cedar wood. It doesn't smell like fake cedar wood. It smells like actual. Oh my God. Duh, Marina. Yeah, it's cedar wood. Like that's what it smells like. It smells like a lumber yard, like a good country, good old country yumber, lumber yard. Wow. I love these. I'm regretting that I didn't get a lot of them, but I'm moving and I did not get a lot of them. I got two of each and there'll be more yummies at the Dollar Tree. There will always be something coming down the pike soon, but yeah, this, this sandalwood, no cedar wood. It's a little bit sandalwoody, but it's not. It's cedarwood and juniper. It's these are really nice plant based products. I can't believe they're at the Dollar Tree. I can't go on enough about them. D delighted that I found them. And yeah, the Dollar Tree is the shizzle, guys. I can't explain it. Every day that I go to the Dollar Tree and I find something different that I've never seen before that I would never pay. $15 for body wash. I, I'm not doing it. Like I will not do it. I, I don't care. Like I don't even do it in a real store. I have to wait for things to be on sale for me to buy them. I don't spend $15 on body wash. Why would I, when I can get fantabulous body wash in the last month, we have had arm and hammer, uh, the power stick, but slamming fragrances. And now this and there were some Bolero body washes that were kind of exciting. I'm a flim flammer on the Bolero. I'm not going to lie. But hey, in a pinch, I would still buy the Bolero over spending 15 bucks on one body wash. So, you know, why ever spend $15 on body wash when you could just be a hunter at the Dollar Tree and save and bank all of those extra bucks to buy all the other goodies you could get? That's my Dollar Tree math, and it always keeps me getting more and more bargains. Works for me. I did get this inflatable flamingo because because I have a problem, but it's 26 inches. I, I, that's a big flamingo. I'm going to float on it. I'm going to use it in the pool. It's She's coming with me to the pool all summer until a good strong wind blows her out and the dogs are in the backyard and they kill this flamingo, but maybe I'll tie. Oh, 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 I know how I'm going to let her live. You see that little connection there? I'm going to put like a little cord around it so she doesn't fly out of the pool. Oh yeah. I'm going to, you don't know how many inflatable items I buy for my pool. And before the day is over, the dogs have killed them. But I'm curious. Honestly, I'm really excited about the flamingo. Because I want her to be the like pool mascot. 
and I debated getting a lap, but now I'm excited that I realized that her feet are like connected because I can attach her. Oh, rats, they're not. The picture shows her one way. The legs are not connected. Okay. That's a lie. But she's cute. You could still kind of like lay. Once she's filled up, she'll still be in the pool as a fun little floaty thing. And maybe, maybe I could put like a string around here or something to keep her from flying out of the pool, actually. Probably not. But you know what? It's okay. For a dollar, I'll put her out on a fun day. I, I have a very hard time keeping my floats alive. The dogs kill them. And that's why I really am so happy when I get them at the Dollar Tree. Because even when I get them at five and below, by the time the day is over, they're dead. It's so, it so sucks. The next item that I wanted to share with you guys is this Sheer Envy Dewy Elixir Galactic Glow. All over Instant Radiance. You guys, this is crazy nice. It's not sparkle, it's glow. So, like, okay, let's see if I could just get it open, Marina. But I, first of all, anything that comes in a glass bottle that comes in a glass bottle from the Dollar Tree brings me instant happiness. Right there, there it is, out of the packaging so you could get a really good look at it. If you wanna screenshot it or there it is in focus. And then let's get into this glass bottle. Beautiful. Then it has this gorgeousness. And then you just hold on. Oh, you got a first there, Marina. And then I'm going to show you guys. It has a really pretty, it's just pearly white. But when you put it on your skin, oh, it's so, do you guys see the little, Okay, see, here's the hand that doesn't have it. Here's the hand that does. Shiny, not shiny. Shiny, not shiny. Much nicer looking. So that's good to put like there, there, on your legs, wherever. Does it have a smell? Hmm, let me see. Let me take a good whiff of that. Actually, it doesn't have a smell. Another shocker, because usually they do. All over Instant Radiance Liquid Illuminizer. I love it. And I love the name of it because it says it's a dewy elixir. I love the word elixir. Oh, you know why? Because I used to like aromatics elixir. That's why. That's why. Which was a fragrance, but I think it just makes me love the word. Nah, I just like it because it's a fancy schmancy word. Like... It's not, you know, it's just a nice word. I love it. And I, I think it's fantastic that Hard Candy puts it on its packaging. So I love that. Then I found this. And Spa Scriptions, you guys know I love it. I never, ever am disappointed with it. Spa Scriptions Superfoods Exfoliating Cleanser Strawberry and Acai. Uh, acai. And the other day... Uh, when I hold, not the other day, could have been like pff, half, half a month ago, but, um, it's a five ounce tube. I hold the avocado and something or other day cream by spa descriptions. Love it. So I'm sure I'm going to love this. I've never been disappointed. It's an exfoliating cleanser and it actually see down here, the, the tube becomes clear. So this color here is the actual product color. And, oh, yeah. And it's pink and it's strawberry scented, but it's not like, it's not, oh my gosh. It smells like real strawberries. It's, it's so nice. I can't wait to use it. I love that I can get fun face products. And Pamela's always like, Marina, please don't use them all in one day. You have to do one thing at a time. Because last week, I got so excited because I finally emptied out my car and I had all the wipes or maybe it was two weeks ago and I had all those wipes that we've been hauling and I took them all out of the car and I was looking at them and looking at them and then I just started opening each because I bought multiples of everything and I opened you know one of everything and just wiped my face with all of them and then the next day I had like a rash all over my face and she was like, that's too much stuff on your skin. You have to take it easy on your skin. One thing at a time. And then since then, I've been using like just one different wipe a day. 
And of course it has not happened again, but I was like, oh, I'm so upset. She's like, well, what did you think? You like tortured your skin. It's too many products all at once. And I'm like, you know, you're right. I don't know why I do those things. I can't help myself. Then I want to share with you guys this stuff because I think it's so cool. I even, I can't believe some of the things that I brought out of my house to share with you guys because I couldn't do my, my haul in my house. The dogs are like crazy. They're so noisy. Max and Mabel fight all day and bark all day. It is a zoo in my house until I move. I don't know. Maybe once they settle down for the summer and there's, they're outside more, but it's raining. So I brought my jar and I want to show you guys. Do you guys see how pretty, pretty, pretty this is? Are you seeing this beautifulness? Do you know what these are? They say, love, well, there's the, uh, it's hard to see, but they say love and peace and they're tie dyed. They're like hippie Hershey's, hippie Hershey's, you guys, love, <laughs> not like hippie herpes. I'm sure that was a thing too, cause I almost said it. I know I had to say it, but this is what they, I really can't believe the things that come out of my mouth sometimes, but I was thinking it, I have no filter. So these hippie, not hippie, no, yeah, hippie Hershey's, 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 Hershey's. And it's called the tie dye kisses. Love it. I mean, love this, love it. I, I can't, peace and love. You guys see it says peace and love. And look at that. How gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness. So of course I got multiple bags because I want to fill this jar. So the next flavor of Hershey's Kisses I picked up are these birthday cake ones because again, the boys love these. So I'm going to add them to the, um, let's see what their packaging looks like. I'm going to add them to my cute jar. <gasps> okay. I love, I love Hershey's Kisses and the good. Okay. So that is so fantastic I can't take it I love that it's teal you guys see that it does not take much to bring me joy the silliest things make me happy but honestly like why in the world wow these smell good you know what I've never had this flavor my husband loves it they're white chocolate did you guys know that I mean did the package say it and I just don't know look at how cute that is that would look so pretty on those people's cookie you know those people not me those people who bake like real because I've seen people put like Hershey's Kisses in the middle of some kind of cookie drop or something and whatever this would look cool in the center of a cookie because it see how it's it's gorgeous let's see how it tastes mm, oh my god So pretty. Um, those are those are. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -mm -mm. That is. I don't really eat things that are. Although I do have a severe addiction to sh sugary soda, <laughs> but I don't really eat stuff like that. But it's good. That is really good, and the. The tie-dyed ones are just regular chocolate, and everybody knows what those look like on the inside and what those taste like, but who wants regular Hershey's chocolate when you can get it wrapped in tie-dye with peace and love all over it? I love that. I love it. Like, I crazy love it. And then these, I've actually had these. My son loves these. The cookies and cream ones, and they're delicious, so they're going in the jar as well. Oh, and these are cute too. The cookies and cream ones are just like a blue color. So I'm gonna add those to my jar of kisses as well. I love to make layered jars of candy. It just, I don't know, it makes me so happy. Just like layers in my jars. And I did get, oh, you know what I wanted to say? The cookies and cream ones are 2.7 ounces. Not that I, th I feel like you get the same amount of the birthday cake, you only get 2.2 ounces, but maybe the cookies are heavier than the sprinkles. I don't know. So maybe you get the same amount of them. It seems like you get the same amount of them. And then the peace and love ones, how many 
ounces was that. But oh, I'll tell you right now. The peace and love ones, you get 2.2 ounces. So the birthday cake and the peace and love, you get 2.2. The cookies and cream, you get 2.7. It's what is it? Like one extra kiss. But then here is the crazy. In the regular Hershey's Kisses, you get three ounces. So if you really want like the most most bang for your buck, you're gonna get go for these. But I bought them just to add them into the jar because actually they didn't have any other ones left in the store that I was in. And I was like, ah, you know what? Let me just fill the jar. And I figured that's what it would take to fill the jar. And it does. And that makes me so happy. I love it. And I could just see my husband and son spilling the whole thing out. Oh, they'll mix up now. But isn't it cute? Like, for it was like $5, but look at how cute all together with the jar, five bucks. But it's so adorable. I love these jars. I really do. And I love Hershey's Kisses, actually. Like, you know, every once in a while. But the, the birthday cake one is crazy sweet. Like, sweeter than regular chocolate. Just if you can't handle super sweet, it's very sweet. I did pick up another one of these harnesses. Believe me, I've given up on even caring what they look like because Max chews through every single one that I, and I've, this is like the seventh one I've gotten. So I've gotten him every pretty colorful one. I just picked up a black one because that's what they had. He's a medium now. I remember when extra small was too, too big on him. He's now a medium. He is never, ever going to be a pocketbook dog. It's very sad. I, I was robbed, you guys. I was robbed. But what are you going to do? I did pick these sugar-free, um, Russell Stover sugar-free peanuts. You don't get a ton, but sugar-free candy is very expensive. And I picked these up also for my mother-in-law as a little, little something, something, 1.5 ounce, because she can't have sugar. And I want to make sure, I'm sure she'll bring her own little snacks because she's very careful that way. But I want to have little some things for her to have as well, of course. And I'm going to go to the bakery and I'm going to pick up some goodies for her as well. But just in case she wants a little midnight something or whatever, I got those for her. And um, what else? I did pick up one of these. I did pick up one of these no snag hair extension styling brushes because my god sister is actually a professional extension weave maker or weaver or I forget what that's called, but she's a hairdresser, but she does just extensions um, professionally like for famous people and stuff like that and I wanted to give her one of these. She also has extensions in her hair. And I just thought maybe she might like that. I mean, I don't even know if she'll like it. I don't know if it's good enough. She uses really high quality hair and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, whatever. I picked it up because I was like, ooh, that's up her alley. And then I always pick these up. I showed them in a walkthrough. I don't know. They disappear in my house, but they do work really well. You see how that it's shown right that like that? All the other kind that I buy always seem to break on me. But these don't break. They just disappear. So I'm always buying them because everyone's always using the phone in my house to do Zoom or something or other. And it's good to have them around. I did pick up these. The Switzer's Chewy Pink Lemonade Twists and the Switzer's Chewy Regular Lemonade Twists. I love pink lemonade. So let's see about this since I'm just chowing down in the car. Let's see about... oh. Um, they're not like a Twizzler exactly like you know I guess Twizzler has become I've never tried this brand of has anyone ever even heard of this brand before it started showing up in the Dollar Tree Switzers I mean are they like where are they made St. Louis, Missouri, distributed by the Switzer Candy Company. That's so cute. Made in the USA. 
It's kind of delicious. It has a very, like, old-fashioned kind of... I love lemon. But the lemon one says it's made with real juice. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Pink lemonade is made with fake juice. Real lemonade is made with real lemon juice. So I'm going to have to try that too. Sorry, guys. Wow. Those are yummy. Grandma Switzer used to make the best real... <laughs> can't read it. <laughs> Grandma Switzer used to make the best real... Oh, duh, lemonade. Freshly squeezed, sweet and tart. Grandpa Switzer made sure his chewy lemonade twists lasted just like Grandma's lemonade so everyone could enjoy a true taste of summer anytime, anywhere. Oh. Wow. That's so cute. These are really yummy. I'll be chowing down on these as soon as I'm done with this video because now I have two pieces of licorice just sitting there. And I love, I, that's the kind of candy I love. I love like sour candy. Like see that Hershey's thing? That was so sweet. But this isn't super crazy sweet. It's like, it's still bad for you, but my taste buds can't handle crazy sweet like that. I, I don't like it. Then you guys, crazy great deal crazy good deal like 100 make it blocks for a buck for assorted colors kids like to make little houses little villages little whatever this saves you a lot of money get 10 of these ten dollars is a thousand pieces they can and look at the look you guys look you know you know the cups that you can fill in the fill your own little cup section at the lego store are nine dollars and you know how many times I've bought these pieces right here for $9 a little box? Because my son likes to make zombie apocalypse world. He, he is a teenager, but I have to tell you, even at 14, the other night when he was up really late, you know what my boy was doing? Touching up his zombie world. So I picked up a bunch of these because even though he's going to act like he doesn't want them, I'm going to put them on a staircase and I know they're going to just go up there just like the zombies do and get used up. And that's fine. We won't speak of it. But I know he's still going to want them. And if you have kids that are in Lego age, this is an insane deal, you guys. A hundred pieces for one dollar. Unheard of. You cannot get a Lego set of a hundred pieces for anything close to this. And this isn't going to become something that maybe might look wonky. These are just creative mind you know, imagination using pieces. They can create anything they want, incorporate it into their Lego, and they have more Lego to build with. This is an incredibly great deal. I love this, and I hope they do more of this. This is phenomenal. Honestly, I wish I was not moving because I would have cleared the shelf and be hunting for more of them. I'm really praying that this is going to be something that during the holidays I can order online because I can get Lego got Lego figures and this Lego figures are not cheap but I can get Lego figures at a decent deal when they go on sale sometimes you can get them for like three or four dollars and then add this and now I have a decent gift to give out to where you know wherever I'm going to be working with in the future so I hope that this becomes an online item oh please let this become an online item as soon as I go to Florida I'll be checking and even if it comes up like in the middle of summer, I'm ordering it because I know that will be sold out if it does. I, I wish I could stockpile that now. So more lemon excitement, more citrus uh, calamity is going on at the Dollar Tree. And we're going to smell this one right now. I've heard good things, actually. Uh, my friend Pamela loves it. And I even saw Donna from Donna Unboxes test this out and she said that she loved it so spa scriptions active essentials fresh start fr spa scriptions active essentials fresh start cleanser goji berry orange and lemon removes dirt and oil from fresh and clean for my goodness what is wrong with me today Woo! it's because I can't wait to get into the Dollar Tree I just keep thinking about getting done and getting in there 
Um, this is probably the fastest haul I'm ever going to do. It's still going to be an hour and a half long. Who are we kidding? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because this is motivation right here. Fresh Start Cleanser. Goji Berry Orange and Lemon. Removes dirt and oil for fresh and clean skin for all skin types. Mm, for all skin types. Five ounce. So let's see how it smells because I'm really curious. And it's sealed. I love that. Ooh, and it's exploding. I don't love that, but that's okay. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, that smells, I'm wiping it off on a paper bag. That smells very, very citrusy and really delightful as a matter of fact. Um, I picked up two of those. I almost wish I had 10, but I'm trying to cut down. I mean, what do I need 10 for? I, I like to give these kind of things out, but I'm not stockpiling because I'm, I've got to move. The packaging is really gorgeous, actually. And I really feel like Spa Scriptions is trying to copy Unique, um, Unique, Clinique. Uh, they're not being unique. I feel like they're copying a lot of the summer Clinique, the older Clinique line. <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. My allergies have just been absolute insanity lately. <coughs> I'm still using my Betsy Johnson cup, but today it does not match. <laughs> and that happens. The other day it matched my outfit so well that I was so excited. But low outfit had mosquitoes just torpedoing themselves into me. I was covered in dead mosquitoes. I don't, does it, has that ever happened to anybody where they wear bright yellow and mosquitoes just launch themselves into you? Is that like a thing or I don't know. Maybe somebody put like a pesticide out in my area because they do that where I live. And they were just dying on me. It was so crazy. I've never had that happen to me. Um, so if you did miss that video, it is a video dedicated to all of the items that I have put aside for my 2,000, yes, 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Never, ever in a million years did I think I was going to get 2,000 subscribers. I remember starting not even starting my channel. I used to like have all my friends over or have dinner parties. And I would be like, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And they would be like, you got everything here at the Dollar Tree? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I love the Dollar Tree. And some people would be like, wow, that's amazing. Or some people would like, what's the Dollar Tree? And I would be like, uh, mental note, no longer my friend. Like, I really cannot stand people that don't love the Dollar Tree. I know that sounds crazy because my husband tolerates the Dollar Tree, but Anybody that would be like, oh, I don't like the Dollar Tree, I would be like, oh, I don't like you. I'm done with you. You don't belong in my world. And I know that that sounds crazy, but I really was kind of like that. I was like, I had no idea that some people hated the Dollar Tree. Like, who could eat the Dollar Tree? And then, like, the following year, I would do dinner parties and I would be like, have you guys seen Thrifty Tiffany or have you guys seen these people on, on YouTube that do, like, Dollar Tree hauls? And they were like, what the hell is a Dollar Tree haul, Marina? And I would be like, oh, it's the coolest thing. I watch people do it for like hours a day. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I watch people show me what they bought at the Dollar Tree on YouTube. <laughs> and my friends and my family and my loved ones would be like, some would be like, okay. And I'd be like, all right, I'm not going to hate them for that. At least they tolerate the Dollar Tree because I was weeding through my people. And then... um, some people would be like, what? There's a place you can go to to see what's coming up next at the Dollar Tree? I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. New, new, like, respect for this friend. They're in high reverence. They totally get me. And then, like, during quarantine, Gretchen and I, one of my friends, Gretchen from Gretchen's One DIY at a time, she's always been a good friend of mine, but she, like, was like, I love Dollar Tree hauls. And, um, but anyhow, so during that time frame, when I would like talk about people that hold, I would be like, I secretly kind of want to have a YouTube channel. I could so see myself being like, hey guys, look at what I got at the Dollar Tree today. And I would like walk around the house and be like, hi guys, hi guys. And I was like a kid, like, like I was a kid, like I was pretending that I had a YouTube channel. And then finally, my husband was like, are you ever going to just do this YouTube channel already? You love the Dollar Tree. You like literally are talking to yourself now. <laughs> like quarantine is driving you crazy. You should just start a YouTube channel. And I was like, I don't think I could do it. 
And I don't know if you guys have ever seen my very first video, but I literally cried in it. It was very overwhelming for me. I had had a really hard, crazy month. One of my clients who I'd been working with didn't leave and she ended up actually dying. She was dead. And I had a very hard month and um, it was quarantine time. And I just felt kind of defeated because that lady didn't live and didn't leave. And I was so overwhelmed. I just decided I'm going to start a Dollar Tree channel, a Dollar Tree YouTube channel about what I buy. But basically, I only shop at the Dollar Tree. I go sometimes someplace else, but it's never the same as the happiness I get at the Dollar Tree. And, you know, and, and history was made. So now I have 2,000 subscribers almost. Maybe by the time this airs, I will. And I have this kind of fabulous flower beauty um, giveaway that I'm going to be giving away to a lucky subscriber. And I just want to say that I actually am opening it to international subscribers, but you absolutely positively have to have your subscription open so I can verify that you are a subscriber. The reason I'm doing this is because I need to make sure that in the future giveaway that Pamela from Pamela's World and I are doing, Pamela and I have invested a lot of time and effort collecting the most enormous, epic, hard candy, some wet and wild items sprinkled in there, makeup haul ever, 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 ever. This giveaway is enormous. The bucket that it's in is ginormous. You guys are going to want this stuff. It has so much makeup in it. I don't think there's a single piece of makeup that's come out in the last few months that we don't have in that bucket. So you're going to want it. And I want whoever deserves it to get it. But you have to have your subscriptions open. Because one of the criteria is that you have to be subscribed to my channel and to Pamela's channel. So when we are compiling all of the lists, Pamela and I have a lot of work to do to figure out all of the people who are eligible to enter when we finally do that. So in order to prepare you guys, please, please go on YouTube, look up how to open my subscription so that it's a public visible subscriber. You have to be visibly subscribed to my channel or I cannot choose you. I break my heart if I have to not pick someone that I think is so deserving because I know that they're active and, you know, on my channel. All you got to do is go and watch a video on YouTube on how to make your subscriptions public. But I'm going to give you guys a little clue. If you're entering other giveaways and you've never won, it's because no one knows that you're subscribed to them. Nobody's going to give you a giveaway unless you are a public subscriber. Publicly, it says publicly subscribed or subscribe public, subscription public. That way, I can see that you're subscribed to my channel because a lot of people, I know you're subscribed and a lot of you, I don't want to call your names out, but I love you guys. I want you to have a chance to win. So please go and open your subscription so that Pamela and I can verify when the time comes that you are subscribed to both of our channels. In the meantime, I am making this giveaway open to even international subscribers. That's huge, guys. That could cost me an insane amount of money to ship this flower beauty out to you. But I'm willing to go the extra mile because I really want to impress upon you how important it is that you be a public subscriber, a visibly public subscriber, so I can check that you are subscribed. Um, you got to be 18 years of age. You can be in another country even. You have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to comment hashtag flower beauty from now. Um... Until I say no more. So from that video, from the Flower Beauty giveaway announcement, I do it this one, keep doing it, keep doing it, whatever. And you can win the Flower Beauty makeup, hashtag Flower Beauty, hashtag Flower Beauty, and be an open subscriber, 18 years of age. It doesn't have anything to do with YouTube. Um, I bought the stuff and you're going to get a tracking number with it. So I just need to really clarify that. And I may have to do it again and again until you guys start to realize that you are not even subscribed. Many, many people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel or YouTube has unsubscribed you, please go and check. I get unsubscribed to channels all the time. You cannot win if you are not subscribed and publicly not. You got to be a public subscriber. Okay, that's enough. I hope you guys get that. If anyone has any questions, 
please contact me in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. I want everyone to have a chance. And now let me show you my deodorant because it's been waving in the air. Um, this is the Power Stick Cucumber Mint. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I've been using it. I almost smell right now. It's not that late in the day, but it's aluminum free. I joke with Pamela all the time that I'm trying really hard to get my body adjusted to the aluminum free stuff and midday I end up using real deodorant because I can't take it anymore. One of these days I should have used aluminum free deodorant during the time that I was in quarantine because it says on the internet uh, when you Google it that sometimes your body takes a couple of weeks to adjust and I don't want to walk around smelly for a couple of weeks but I was home for a couple of weeks. If only I had thought of it. I would have done it. I did pick up these truth or dare dice and they're so cool. They're not like kinky truth or dare. Um, they are like truth or dare, like a fun game, truth or dare. And they're, they're clean dice. Basically. They're not like smutty, dirty dice in case you guys were wondering. Some of the things they say is make up a rap about the person to your right. Uh, what was the last lie you told ever peed in a pool when, where, and then you might get truth or you might get dare. But I think it's fun to do something like that in like a little family dinner. Like while you're eating dinner, you can pass this around. Everyone can take a turn and answer the question or take the dare. But it's like, if you're having a few people over, it's just a fun little thing to do with the family. And it's, it's not like weird or whatever. It's like good, clean questions. So, and this was originally from, um, I think that, yeah, Amscan, this is from Party City. So this is not a Dollar Tree item and it seems to be that a lot of low um, priced items have trickled. I think a lot of Party Cities went out of business. That's what it is. I don't know if Party City completely went out of business. Did they go out of, did they go out of business like across the country? No, right? I don't know, but I'm seeing a lot of Party City stuff. So whatever happened, happened, they seem to be trickling their, you know, overflow into the Dollar Tree. Let me know if they're, if they're still in business. I don't know. I know New York. I don't think there are any left. I don't know what other states they're still in, but at a dollar, I'm happy to get it. I'm sorry if they did go out of business. Another item that I picked up, and I did pick up a purple one the other day, and I forget what that one does, but this one is Pore Refining Glitter Peel-Off Facial Mask. It's a minimize, smooth, and strengthen aloe vera and witch hazel. Ooh, aloe vera and witch hazel. This one's going to be good too. Um, so, oh, and it smells good. It smells like witch hazel-y. And that's it. The, the purple one was, oh, I wish I could remember. I'll put a picture of the purple one up here so you can compare. Uh, maybe I'll do it like right there in the video so they could be side by side. So hopefully that worked and you guys saw the other one, but this one really does sound really good. Aloe vera and witch hazel. And again, like I said, all of them that I've tried so far, I love, and I do like a peel off mask. It's very exciting. It smells kind of coconutty for some weird reason, coconut witch hazel-y to me, but the color is like a hot pink which is fun. I know it's stupid, but it's kind of fun to put these colorful masks on and then peel them off. I don't know why, but it's really satisfying. So I am really addicted to them. I love face masks. This book up a while ago, like a while ago, I believe I got it in Levittown. And what it is, is what I wore. It's so interesting. It says four, clo four seasons, one closet, endless recipes for personal style. And literally, it's this lady, um, it's a cookbook for your closet. She has like a whole bunch of ideas of how to like wear clothes. And I don't know, I love books like this. And I have a feeling, I just have this feeling that my friend Kathy is going to really love this book. So I'm going to give it to her. Yeah, I think it's great. Really, really a great book on just, you know, kind of knowing what you want in your closet and how to recycle things and use them in more ways than one. And it says, personal style expert Jessica, Jessica Quirk approaches getting dressed just as you would plan the perfect meal with a 
smartly stocked pantry and a few gorgeous spotlight ingredients. Inspiration comes easily in what I wore named after her enormously popular blog. So yeah, my friend Kathy's going to love this book for a buck. I couldn't resist. Oh, and it was originally, I can't see how much it was originally. If I could try to peel this off. I was originally 18 bucks and it's a paperback. I think that's great for a dollar. This is really, it's practically like a fashion magazine. She's going to, I know my friend Kathy is going to absolutely love that book. I just know it. The minute I saw it, I was like, oh, this is for Kathy. Then, um, what else, what else, what else? So the next items that I picked up, you guys are going to make fun of me because I hate to wear glasses to begin with, but I really, really, really do like to read when I'm at the beach and it's super bright out and I can't see nothing. You guys like realize I cannot read like small print in books. So I do like it when the Dollar Tree gets these sun readers and they're like prescription glasses for reading 1.50. I probably could have even used there and they're not like particularly attractive on me. That's the thing because they're very small for my big old round head, but I can actually read. So when I get to the beach, if I want to read something, I, they're small enough that I can pull this out and read what I want to read and then put on my regular sunglasses because it's really hard to get prescription sunglasses that are cheap. I've already bought a bunch of sunglasses and I don't like them. And honestly, they don't make enormous prescription sunglasses. Like, like this, um, I guess I could just do readers. I don't know why I've never done that. I, I got them in bifocals and I can't wear them. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just get prescription sunglasses as reading glasses. Well, whatever. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I've spent so much money on getting glasses. I'm so over it already. And I did get this cute, super cute. I love it. Love, love that this matches so well. So those are going to be in my beach bag just like that. And then I got this pair which is even smaller. So I think I might give this to my other girlfriend. We have the same, although I kind of like these. I don't know. I might keep them. I love the color of them. They're so fun in a weird way, even though they're way too little. They're like, I look like my head. I don't know. My glasses are shrinking or my head's expanding. I never wear glasses this size. Uh, that's why I'm so weird about glasses. And, but I do like the color and I actually can see with this to read um, and I like that they match this one so well. I mean, they didn't have them together as a set. It's $2, but I matched them together and I think they match really, really well. So I just think that that's a great little thing to have in your beach bag. If you want to do some sun reading, it's impossible to read without sunglasses on the beach. You can't, you'll go, bl like, I'll go blind. I have really light eyes, so it really hurts my eyes. So especially in Florida. I'm going to need this even if I want to just sit in my back in my backyard. If I want to read and sit at the pool, it's going to be really sunny and I'm going to need these. Even if I just want to sit out back in the lanai and uh, just do my bills or whatever, it's going to be so sunny and no one's really going to see me. So they don't have to look gorgeous on me. They just have to be functional. So this was a, a kind of a good score, I think, because for some reason I never find my right, um, no, you know what? They don't always have sun readers. They have regular glasses, but not always sun readers. And by the time I catch them, there's only like threes or fours left. And I really need a one, a one, two, five, or a one, five, oh, whatever that means. That's what I need. Uh, one, I think is too little. One, two, five is ideal. One, five, oh is okay. And that's what I got. One, five, oh, anything more than that is blurry. So two bucks, four bucks, I can see books. It's all good. I'm so excited. Then I picked up some of these. I'm going to um, send these out to my god sister who has a baby on the way and a toddler because that's so perfect for t um, snacks not spilling. Aren't those brilliant, you guys? And one has a cute little heart. Actually, has three little hearts. Super cute. And one has a cute little whale. But I just think that those are brilliant little snack cups. I love them. They're so cute, right? Aren't they so cute? You can probably do other things with them, but they do have the little thumb nubby. So you kind of feel like you've accomplished something if you're not going to spill them all over the place and like a little groove in them. You see the little groove? 
it's kind of good. It's a steam building. I think they're so cute. I love them. I also picked up some of these insulated cups. They're like kind of a really big size. So I think that's good for water for toddlers because, I mean, you need to drink a lot of water, you know, when you're a growing child. And it says insulated cup, three to 36 months plus with flip up straw. And I don't know, but I just think they're awesome. And this is like an undersea theme. So cute for my god sister who's having the baby and has one in the house. And this one is cute. I'll show you guys what it looks like because I think they're really a great deal. They're so cute. You guys see the inside? It's an insulated cup, double wall insulated. And look, it's like this. Look how cool that is. So I just think it's really kind of awesome. It's a flip up silicone straw. Brilliant. I think that's so cute, you guys. Isn't that cute? And this one happens to be really cute. She's going to love it. So that's for her. I'm going to put it aside. And then I also picked up this zebra print. It's like, ze no, it's not just zebra, Marina. It's lots of animals. Zebra, koala, giraffe, which I love, 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 love. Just so cute. Really cute. These are all cute. I love them all. I think there was one other print, but I left it behind because these are perfect. For She's having another girl and she has a girl. And I feel like these are all cute for a little girl. I love them. And they're going to love them. And they're really useful. I think it's a really great buy at a dollar. I really do. I got more of these um, canine carryouts, taco minis. My dogs are obsessed with these. They... At this point, like everything, but this they like more than anything. Like I did pick up one of these. Now this is just a coaster. Uh, I just wanted to add it in with some of the stuff that my mother-in-law is getting with her little gratitude book. And I, I, I just know she's going to like it. It just says life is beautiful. It's just a simple little ceramic coaster, but she's going to like it. You guys have seen these. It's like a peach blush kind of color with the little book. It's going to be a nice little gift for her. I know she's going to appreciate that. Then again, for my friend who's having the baby, um, getting so big. I did show you guys in a different haul, the one for a birth announcement. But now this one is getting so big and tall. I have teeth number all about me and I am however old. And it's a chalkboard. And I think these are so cool, you guys. These are just so cool. And if you don't want to use that, you just flip it over. Now you have a huge chalkboard to work with. So there is that, you guys. DIY Haven. This is an actual chalkboard. But I really think that someone who's having a kid or has one, she's having a kid, so the birth announcement one is great. But then she has another kid, and they can hold them side by side and compare. And that would be so cute, too, right? I, I think for sure that makes a nice, very nice gift. Our Greenbrier products. I just picked up some, not all. This one says shine as lights in the world. And I just think it's nice. The colors are nice. And I have a few friends that will really enjoy it. It's from the Philippians, Philippians. And I know that they will enjoy it. It's just a little notepad, nothing crazy, uh, not magnetic. I just think they're going to enjoy it. Let's take a look inside really quick to see if it says anything on the inside in case you guys are curious. Oh, wow. Each and every, wow. Oh my God, you guys. Each and every single page has a different verse. I'll just flip to one. Let's see what the world wants us to know today. Let's see. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Okay. The people who I wanted to give this to are definitely going to love this. That I can tell you right now. Each and every page has a different psalm. That's beautiful. Then this one says, and everything give thanks, the Salonians. So let's see what this one has inside. You guys see, it's a really cute, like very retro print. That's what drew me to it. I just think it's really a cute print. I love it. So now each and every page of this one should be different too. And it is. And this is what the paper looks like in here. So let's do a divination in here as well. And it says, for thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears and my feet from falling. Psalm 116, 
colon eight. Okay, so again, if that speaks to you, then that's wonderful. I know that my friends that I got these for are gonna love it, and I'm putting that aside. I have a really strong feeling they're going to really, really appreciate that. Then I did get a new one of this because my cat is a slob, and she always takes her food out of the bowl, chews it up on here, and just, blech. so yeah. I got a teal one this time. The last time I got marmalade, a, a pink one, but I was really aggravated at how it clashed in my kitchen because my kitchen is teal. So I decided she's getting teal stuff from now on, even though she's a girl cat. And that's what's happening. And then I did get another one of these. I got a bunch of these lately because I plan to use, I, I had a bunch of them and I gave them all away. And I got really lucky that I found a store that restocked them and I purchased a bunch because one, of course I want to have one for me. I only had a white one left. And then, um, just a second, I picked up some more of these because I think that this is so cute and I'm going to give it to, uh, my mother-in-law. I'm going to put my mother-in-law's little gifts in here. So she has a little bag if they do go in the hot tub or whatever. And I got her one of these because I think it's super cute. I love this scarf. You guys know that. And I'm just going to do that with a bow. Like instead of zhuzhing it up with a bow, I'm going to put one of these on it and then fill it with all the cute stuff I've gotten her. Isn't it going to be a cute, cute gift for her? And I'm going to put like the books. I have a ton of things at the house for her, but they're going in here. And I know, I know, I know, I know she's going to love this. And then I have a gray one that I'm gifting someone else and I'm putting the bumblebee scarf on it which I, of course, bought a few of. But I just, I think that the scarves from the Dollar Tree, and you know, if you get the white basket and you want to give someone like a little gift if you're going to a 4th of July thing, if you get the white basket and you tie like a 4th of July scarf on it, that's a good little, I'm bringing you a gift to your, you know, for coming and for inviting me to your 4th of July thing. And you could put whatever in it. It doesn't matter if you're bringing ketchup or whatever utensils or tableware it doesn't matter put it in a little but one of these one dollar baskets put a fourth of july scarf right there and fill it with whatever you want to bring the hostess nice these are so nice the woman will appreciate it i literally love this thing like i just love it i love it i literally love it i i think they're so nice and of course we've all seen them before but i feel that i lucked out that that store got more because I actually gave them all away. I had them filled with makeup when I was dropping stuff off at the shelter and I lost count and I didn't even keep every color for myself. I only have one white one left for me, but I did re-up in the pink and, and the um, gray, so I'm really happy about that. And then uh, let's do a little bit of makeup. I did find this cashmere silk and I have seen this before actually, but it seems to be trickling back into the Dollar Trees and this one is called creme brulee. It happens to be a very popular color with hard candy. It is hard candy and it's in this pretty box. It's not the metal tin, but I do have some of those as well. But this is back out in abundance. So if you're looking and you ran out, number 1319 creme brulee. There's the scan code if you need it. So they're back guys. If you ran out and you miss it, keep your eyes peeled. They're back out. Now look at this. I have this cool scalloped container and it is literally like a fruit salad. I was thinking it would be cute to put fruit salad in here and scoop it out, but I've made a fruit salad of makeup. So I'm going to share my fruit salad with you guys right now. I did get some of these and I have already opened the other one of this and I really like it. It's actually my perfect skin tone. This one is too dark. I suspect that I could use this one as contour if I want to, but I have the Wet n Wild um, Cool Contour Palette, and I'm trying to learn how to contour with cream stuff, and I, I think I did a big old miss today, but I'll get better as time goes on. I did use, actually, the Wet n Wild Contour Palette today, and I did an okay job, but I think I could have done better. I'm learning how to do better contour with cream products because cream products are kind of better than powder products on older skin. So anyhow, this color I think is too dark for me. This one is good. No, I mean, I mixed them up. <laughs> Crazy Marina. No, no, no. 
This one is too dark for me. This one is good. Um, I actually use this today underneath everything and I like it. It's really good. It's a good foundation product. And at a dollar, they're, they're Revlon, you guys. You cannot go wrong for Revlon. They, they're really nice consistency. They don't do weird stuff. They don't cake or... I really like them. They're a good buy and they're not cheap in the store. I don't remember exactly how much they are, but I did Google it and they're not cheap. This one right here, this liquid cat suit is called Ruby Heist. And it is a seriously very, very popular eyeshadow color by, um, by Wet n Wild. It's a, it's a metallic color. And I actually, the other one that I opened, it's very red, but I blended it in actually to my, it, it works really well. I'm actually wearing the one that I opened. Do you guys see that redness? I blended it in. I just put a little drop and then I smudged it in. And I really like how it looks because it blends nicely. It doesn't cake or crack. And it adds like a really beautiful like red. If you just, you guys see what I'm saying? It's pretty nice, I think. I think it's a very nice eyeshadow. I really love the liquid cat suits. I am always satisfied with them. Now this one, the copper cat, you, you copper cat, oh, you copycat. I love their names. Um, this one is really pretty. I have never actually tried this one. So is it a lipstick or an eyeshadow? What is this? Hmm. It's an eyeshadow. Let's see what that's about. Let's see. So you can blend it to something like that. Again, I like to blend it in. Um, unless I'm only doing one color, but if you don't want to blend it and you want to make it like a very pigmented, it's, their cat suits are really pigmented and nice. See that? That is a beautiful, um, but if I use more than one eyeshadow and I use the cat suits, then I, I do blend because it's too many colors for my eyes. It just gets overpowering. I don't have huge, um, I just, my, I, my eyelids are very hooded, so they're a little tricky, but I do think that I'll show you guys it again because I just mangled the packaging, but, um, yeah, so it's a really, really, really pretty color. And I do think that that's a great buy because it's the large one. They've been sort of putting out the little ones lately, but you copper cat, like you copycat, very cute, very pretty color. You can blend it or, but once it's dry, it's dry. It's not going anywhere. You see that? So you got to do it quick if you're going to blend it. And that's what I did today with the Ruby Heist. But I probably would have an easier time blending this one because it's already kind of lighter to begin with. Um, then this one, this one is gorgeous. I, I don't know what more to say. It's called Fairy Tale Ending. And I feel like it is a fairy tale ending. 576B. Look at that. And it's another full size one because I found a bunch of little ones. Oh, let me show you the scan code if you need it. There it is. Um, fairy tale ending. And I'm going to swatch this one as well. Wow, this is so pretty. It is just like, la, la, la. See that? It's gorgeous. I love metallic eyeshadows. I have a funny feeling this might end up being one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. I just, you know when you just try something or see something and you're like, oh, I'm so excited. Well, I am. And that's how I'm feeling. And then what is this? What is this now? This, oh, this is the copper cat again. And then, oh, okay. So I have this lavender crown and I kind of feel like I would wear a lavender crown with fairy tale ending for sure. I love this blending, but now one that I have to share with you guys is called lavender. What the heck is this one called again? 971A. There it is case you need to scan it or whatever. Lavender Crown Wet n Wild Catsuit. It is a almost gray, 
lavender, lipstick, matte. I'm not going to open this. I'm probably going to save it for a future giveaway because I'm pretty sure I will not wear this color. But some people might really want this color and I will hold on to that for a future giveaway because um, I only found one of that. If I find another one in the future, I will open it. But since I only found one, I'd rather share than open and waste. And this is gorgeous. And I did find a couple of these. Um, <clears throat> this is called 964A, uh, once upon a bronze moon. And it is a metallic matte metallic lipstick, but I have, I have a feeling I'm going to absolutely love this color. So I can't wait to get into it and I can't seem to be able to open it. And it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> Come on, let me open you so I can swatch you and put some of you on my lips. I love this color. This is like so cool. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yay. Okay. Ooh. It's really matte. Oh, wow. This is nice. I thought it was going to be like metallic, but it, it it is metallic. Let's just... I just added it on over my lipstick just to see how it feels but actually it is actually very true to the color and it is very metallic I just don't think I can convey it because it actually darkened my lipstick a lot it's beautiful I know that I can make this look gorgeous on my lips I am obsessed with this color for winter I'm gonna I'm going to love this color at winter time. What's the name of that? So it's kind of like telling a fairy tale story here. If you guys haven't realized once upon a bronze moon fairy tale end. And what was the first one that I loved called, um, you copycat. So I don't know, but these right here, that's a nice color palette for your face already. Like I love it. I really love it. Then I found this little exciting thing called Mega Glow Hello Halo, cruelty free, beautiful. And what this is, is um, liquid highlighter. Gorgeous. Look at that color. I'm in the car. You guys see how beautiful, swirly, like this is a gorgeous highlighter, liquid highlighter. Probably a little goes a very long way. You could probably add this to um, moisturizer or a sunblock to give it a little color, which is probably what I'm going to do because I like it when my sunblock is tinted. So I'm going to add some of this to my sunblock because the other thing I hold, the other um, foundation was too dark, but this is like, I'm going to love this in my sunblock and that's what I'm going to do because I just want to glow. You guys know that I love a lot of sparkle. And I don't care if it seems nuts. It makes me happy. It's not my age, so be it. It's not for my age. Well, I didn't think I was going to be for my age. I don't know what to tell everybody. Then I have these. I think they're the same. Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes Dollar Tree pulls a fast one. So, no, these are not the same. Wow. Those look like they are exactly the same, don't they? So. That is probably why they ended up at the Dollar Tree because these are the same, but one is called Honeymoon. Wow, 960 and 938. One is called Honey Honey Glaze and the other one is, I thought it was called Honeymoon. What is wrong with me? Honey Glaze and the other one is called Satin Sheets. But seriously, you guys, they are exactly the same color. Maybe they're not. They actually, no, these are exactly the same color, you guys, unless they're, I'm not seeing a difference on camera. It looks like there's a difference because of the angle of the lighting, but in real life, they're exactly the same color. That is so nuts, but they have two different names. Like I said, 
and I'm going to open one and swatch it for you guys. I guess I will open satin sheets, but again, satin sheets and honey glaze, identical. And now they're actually kind of getting really hard to open, even wet and wild products. I don't know how people steal these in the stores and open them and try. I don't know. Every time I go to the store, all the packages are like open. And I'm like, how in the world do they do this? I can't even do it when I want to. Like in my car after they've been paid for and stuff. It's so crazy. Oh, oh, wow. Ha <laughs> ha. I thought this was a lip gloss. This is so pretty. Look at that. That is so nice. Even if you just want to put a little, remember I learned that little trick. Wait, let me see if I could do it. So this is what my lips look like right now. And then I learned that trick. Can you guys tell that I did that? That's that like sexy pouty thing I learned how to do. But um, I like that actually. I think that's nice. A really pretty, pretty day wear lip. But of course, I did put it in the center of my lip, and I also kind of like how that looks. So that's a beautiful lipstick. I kind of love the idea of putting that over browns. Yeah, I love it. All right. And here is the scalloped container that I think will be fun to layer fruit salad in. So it looks like one of those tartufa, is that what they're called? Tartufa platter, which I have, but this one's plastic and I don't like to bring glass outside by the pool, but I think it would be fun to put like watermelon, then like pineapple, then watermelon, then some grapes, then watermelon, and have like it striped and then have people just dig in with like a big old like spoon and just scoop out some yummy fruit salad but it would be so pleasing to the eye. And then it has this cute little thing. I just think that's so cute. Isn't that cute for like, you know, a couple times, then get rid of it. You probably want, I did um, show these bracelets in a walkthrough that I made my nieces some cute little gift bags, but I did keep some for me because I want to match them when they come. And I'm going to um, wear my matching bracelets to hang out with them. I think it's fun, cute thing to do. They'll think it's cool. And I actually like these for the summertime. I think they're fun. And I, I really love this shell bracelet. I think it's super cute. Love it. So I do have a few more kind of exciting items to share with you guys. This Flashers is a crazy color, I know. But you know what? You just never know what you might need it for. It's number 1372. And I kind of am very intrigued by it. It's called Sparked, Hard Candy Sparked, and it is a green lipstick. It is a green lip plumping, flashers lip plumping serum, green lipstick. Let's see what this looks like. I'm not putting it on my lips, maybe. I don't know. I'm opening it, though. I don't know, but I'm very, very, I just... I really cannot stress how much this color is gorgeous in the tube. I kind of want to be like an evil wicked witch just so I could wear this once in my life for Halloween. Wow. You know what? I think it would be cool to put like a little bit of this in the middle of your lip. Is it, does it sound nuts? I'm going to look at that color. It's so pretty. I just want to try. I'm just curious okay it's a little crazy but I could see it working on someone maybe not me maybe not me but it is really really I feel like it could work it's so pretty and I feel like it can work. I don't know. I almost want to wear green lipstick. That's how much I like it. 
but then I would need green, green lip liner and I don't have green lip liner. But do you, I, I want to put this on my eyes, but I'm not putting plumping serum on my eyes. I'll be in the hospital. Do you guys see how pretty that green is though? Like, I don't know. Does anybody wear this? What did they do with it? Like what, let me know if you've worn, I feel like if you have the right color lipstick on, and then you add a little bit of this to the center, it could look really beautiful, like mermaid-like. Maybe like a more, oh, like honestly, maybe like a color like that. And then you just add a little bit of this green right to the center, just to the center, like that lady that I watched that does the tutorials says to do to make your lips pop and look sexy. Then I did pick up this gorgeous color show polish you guys know that I can't help myself. When I see sparkle, it goes in the cart. And I do love this. I think it will make a really beautiful top coat. I'm really loving the Maybelline Color Show nail polish that have made it into the Dollar Tree. It's like very sparkly, really nice. It's really opalescent, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I a bunch of these hot smudges and I've never seen them before in the Dollar Tree. And they look like they're a million years old because they're actually like sealed from head to toe. So I'm going to open one up so we can really, it's got like an extra coating of seal on them. And then you could see it, right? And then I like that they're sealed because people open everything. And then I don't know how you open this. So then it looks like that. And then you open it up. It looks like it's supposed to be hinged on, but it doesn't really, eh, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. So it flips open and then it has this actual pink little brush here and then weird little smudger here. And then I don't know if this is liquid or they are like green cream eyeshadow and gray cream, ooh, they're pretty actually, really pretty. The green is really pretty. And it's called Misfit number 291. And that's what's in there. And I think it's actually cool. So let's like swoosh it out a little. Pretty, very pretty. I could do a very pretty look. It's a little metallic also in a weird way. But yeah, at the Dollar Tree, these are there. I found a bunch of different weird colored ones and I think they're pretty cool actually. I'm very happy. I have these by Sincerely Jewels, but are you guys seeing this is literally gorgeous. You get like a little girl barrette and then you get a, a bobby pin. Beautiful though. They're so beautiful and I kind of feel like I'd want to wear them both at the same time because I, I don't know. They're so gorgeous. They are really, this barrette. It just does not look like it's a dollar. I'm trying to figure out how to open it so I could show you guys. But I mean, because I have bought some of the pearl barrettes that the Dollar Tree had to offer recently. But this Sincerely Jewels barrette is to die for. It is really, really nice. My hair got rained on earlier today, so it is kind of like a hot mess. That's beautiful. I love it. I really actually love this clip. Let's see if I could take it to a whole new crazy level like I can. But uh, I actually really love that clip. It's so pretty. It does not look like it was a dollar. It's really, really expensive looking. Has ugh, It's so pretty. I love it. Really love that. Can't believe you can buy... Can you guys believe that you can? I'm wearing green lipstick right now. That's what I can't believe. Actually, it kind of looks nice. I'm sort of starting to like the weird little green effect. That it, it made like green mermaidy looking shimmer on my lips. You can't really see it in the camera, but it's there and kind of digging it. I'm going to play with that green. It's interesting to me. I hope I didn't. I want to put this away without breaking it. How in the world can I not put it back when it came off of here? Can you guys explain this to me? This is why I can't clean. I can't, okay. Yay. All right. You guys, this.
because I have a crazy haul. It's just in the car. Um, Starburst Cherry. I actually want to make this later. Uh, maybe it'll get made by tomorrow. I'm actually the worst gelatin maker. For some reason, sometimes gelatin works for me and sometimes it's yuck on the bottom. Uh, I guess I don't mix it the right way, but I want to try making that layered gelatin where you put the cream because you put that other stuff in it. I, I saw this recipe and you add stuff to it, but it looks exciting and I want to use this Starburst one to do it because that looks like fun. I don't know why, but it just does. And I actually love Jell-O so much. So yeah, so this is at the Dollar Tree, guys. Jell-O. I mean, I actually make Jell-O all the time because I love Jell-O, but to get it at the Dollar Tree for a buck, pretty cool. This is a big box of Jell-O too. It makes six half cup servings. A lot of the boxes of Jell-O make four half cup servings. So I think that this is like a bigger box. I'm almost positive. So a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Can't beat that. Then, okay, so I found the other one and I wanted to share it with you guys. These are both Ruby Heist. Do you guys see the size difference? Now, this one here, this little guy, is two milliliters. Two milliliters. Still, it's a great buy because you're getting a really cool color for a buck. But then this one is 3.5. So it's almost double, you guys. So I just want to keep it real and let you guys know that I'm still willing to buy this size because I leave brand name makeup hanging in the Dollar Tree for a buck. I'm always going to buy it. But they know that now. And they're like, we're going to give you half the size for a buck. And it's happening. I saw it with the mascara. It is what it is, but it is happening. Oh, I am seeing the greenness. It is kind of cool, you guys. I don't know. I'm liking it. What do you guys think of the green? Let me know. Let me know if I've gone off my complete and total deep end completely. And so speaking of your ends, you want to keep them clean. I'm just kidding. But it, it, it is. It, it just so happened that this feminine cleansing wash, which is good to have in the summer, not for nothing. You want to make sure your stuff is clean on a hot summer day. So, so sensitive skin or not, here you go. Because this is for feminine washing. And it's a brand name-ish. It's called Clarice, like in Silence of the Lambs. That's what it reminded me of immediately. I did not do it in my walkthrough though, but you guys know I have no filter and there was no way I wasn't going to say it because remember when he's like, he could smell her in the movie. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I read the name of this brand out loud in the store. Cause it's called Clarice and, um, it said, I, I feel like the company knew that. I don't know. Okay, Marina, focus on this. So compared to summer's Eve, I don't know where this came from, but it obviously came from some other like off brand, like maybe Rite Aid or Genovese or I don't even know. They've been out of business for a million years. I hope it didn't come from there, but some pharmaceutical type little shop must have gone down or whatever. And Dollar Tree got these. It's, it's by a brand called Delta Brands. It's not made by Greenbrier. It smells great. And, um, I'm sure that it was, I can't say that I'm sure that it was more than a dollar because maybe it, because it's an off brand, it wasn't much more at, than it is at the Dollar Tree. But you know what? For a buck, I'm going to try it. Why not? It smells really good. It's been taped shut because I've been finding a lot of things exploding. But it's tropical scented and I really like, yeah, it doesn't close very well. You got to be careful. I'm actually going to tape it shut to bring it back in the house because I don't want it all over the bottom of my bag. I wanted to make it to my bottom of all kinds and that's it. So I'm taping it back up and I do have a habit of doing that because I do buy a lot of stuff and I actually have a roll of tape in my bag. So yeah, dye free intimate cleansing formula, pH balanced, hypoallergenic, nine fluid ounces. Why not for a buck? So you can smell good. Why not? So my buddy Pamela hauled this book and I was like, oh my God, I want that book. And she was like, why? And I said, honestly, my husband and I haven't been married a very long time. We've been together for a while. Um, obviously, I had a previous life and a previous union that did not work out. And this one is my forever life. And I love my husband dearly. We are kind of like newlyweds, but not really because we were together a long time before we got married. Um, but we've gone through hell lately. 
And I kind of feel like when we move to Florida, I would like to renew our vows after he gets his, I'm going to cry, <laughs> after he gets his spinal thing put in, whatever that is, and he's feeling better, and we get to, to our new home, I would like to do just a little ceremony and renew our vows with like maybe like a justice of the peace or some kind of person that comes wherever, maybe our backyard, whatever. And I just, Pamela gave me the book. And I, I'm going to cry because I really want it. And the name of the book is called Our Perfect Marriage. But it's kind of like a funny book. But it is beautiful. Like, you know, sometimes it sounds stupid, but it's nice to do things like this with your spouse. We like to do like morning prayer divination. And, you know, you find things to do with your spouse. But what I found really funny and interesting in this book is that, look at that. It has handcuffs and wedding rings and champagne glasses. Isn't that such an interesting print you guys so you're either shackled or you're shacked up either way this book's got it all for you right that right there tells me there's going to be good stuff in here so our perfect marriage um a journal for sweet nothings romantic memories and every fight you ever have alan and claire clinic linick and uh after the settlement this book will belong to hilarious so that's like divorce but so I just opened it to a random page. How long have you been married? Have you been married since? Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. We've been married since. And then, and then it says we lasted longer than Britney Spears and Jason, Carmen Electra, Dennis Rodman, Kim Kardashian, Chris Humphreys, King Henry and Ann Cleves, 184 days. Wow. Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys was only married 72 days and then um Robert Redford and Lola Van Wagengen 9,855 days wow so he was married a long time then hmm. interesting 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 so there's lots of cute little things to do in this book together uh the first time one of you got sick you guys don't even want to know <laughs> like I, when I just met my husband before we were married or anything like that I got deathly ill like deathly ill where bad things were coming out of me in every possible way. I had never been so sick and literally he had to take my clothes to a laundromat and have them wash them while I was in the emergency room because I didn't have anything to go home in. I, it was disgusting. And I was like, I have never known a man to be so kind and good. I, I really, we, we barely knew each other when I first met him and got deathly ill. And he came back with my freshly cleaned clothes and took care of me. And I feel like I feel like I knew at that moment that we were going to get married. I had a feeling. And, you know, so now in sickness and in health, I've been taking care of him. We take care of each other. But he's been going through hell the last couple of years. And I just know that better days are coming. And uh, I'm so grateful that Pamela gave me this book. I feel like... I'm, I'm really looking forward to using this in my new home. So thank you, Pamela. I really love this book. You like don't even know how much I love it. It was like a sign from the universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you guys. Um, that is everything that I have for now because I think that this video is probably gone. It's getting actually dark out now. So I've been in here for a long time, I think. Maybe, I don't know, I, I lose track of time. So I'm grateful that you guys are here. Please go and check out the giveaway video. Make sure that you are publicly subscribed if you choose to subscribe to the channel so you can possibly enter the giveaway. And if nobody's ever told you that you need to be publicly subscribed for people to know that you're subscribed to their channel, then they haven't even been considering you for a giveaway. So keep that in mind. You haven't been losing. You haven't even been trying. And um, so there, there's that. What else do I need to share? Um, I'm so grateful to you guys. Each and every time you tune into this video and watch me, you have helped me so much. I love doing YouTube videos and I love my YouTube community. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.